Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about those big changes coming up on the 1st of January 2021, where if you're going to be using your company to import at any point in time, you're going to have to account for VAT in a different way. So let's see what QuickBooks can do to make sure that you're covered for that particular change. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a Chartered Accountant, Certified UK Trainer, and also that QuickBooks chap. Now, the 1st of January is going to be a big change for a lot of clients and a lot of business users out there who use QuickBooks. The way we account for import VAT is going to change significantly. And one of the most important things we've got to do is make sure we're ready for that change, make sure we're prepared for how that's going to affect us. The good thing is QuickBooks has us sorted. They've already released and implemented the change needed so that we can actually go forth and make sure that we're actually prepared for these changes. So first of all, what changes are ahead of us? Well, the current rules still apply all the way up to the 31st of December, but after that, we're going to have new rules in place. And it's a relatively new term called postponed accounting. Now, for business registered for VAT in the UK, it will be possible for, to account for import VAT on VAT returns for goods imported from anywhere in the world. This will be done by declaring and recovering import VAT on the same VAT return. Rather than having to pay up front and recover it later, this is commonly referred to as postponed accounting. And it offers a simplification and cash flow advantages compared to the current rules for imports from outside of the EU. The normal rules about what VAT can be claimed as import VAT tax will apply. And postponed accounting can be used for, to account for, for import VAT if the goods are imported for use in a business, the business EORI number, and remember, it takes up to a week to get that number, so make sure you've got that number well in advance, which starts GB, is included on the customs declaration, and the business VAT registration number is shown on the customs, customs declaration where needed. So to simplify things, this will only be talking about when we're importing from a standard way of doing it. So when that's when the products actually arrive in the UK. Now, there are different special procedures available if you're going to be using warehouses or anything like that to circumvent import duty. But let's just concentrate directly on what we need to account for for a simple and a straightforward import. The most important thing is how do you complete your VAT return? So once you've complied with all the rules, you've passed that EORI number, you've put everything through, that means your goods will then actually go through. And instead of you having to pay that import duty up there up front and then having to claim it back later, it's all going to go through this new system. So after the goods have been imported, it will be necessary to account for import VAT on the next VAT return. And that's the key bit. How do we account for it? What do we do? What does QuickBooks do for us to make that work? Well, it's straightforward. An online monthly statement will be available to download and keep, which will show the total import VAT postponed for the previous month. That should be included on the VAT return. Due to postponed accounting, there will be changes to how the VAT should be completed. So basically what we need to do is include both functions of it, both sections of that import duty. So box one, so that's typical your output VAT, must include the VAT due in the period on imports accounted through postponed VAT accounting based on that report that we've downloaded. Also box four must include the VAT reclaimed in the period on imports accounting for through postponed VAT accounting. So we should be seen in most circumstances Box one, box four, having the same two figures in there. Box seven must include the total VAT value on all imports of goods included on the online monthly statement, excluding any VAT. So again, that monthly statement is going to be really important to us. But let's again, let's keep it really straightforward. Imagine you've just downloaded that monthly report and you need to account for it on QuickBooks. Let's have a look how you're going to account for that on QuickBooks now. So first of all, here's my QuickBooks. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to my taxes section, just like we would normally. And you'll notice there's a little change. And that little change is now from the edit VAT and edit rate section. This list here will only be the rates that you've 
chosen to show. So what we tend to say on this channel is try and keep this list as less complicated as possible. So if you don't already have imports or exports to EU, then you want to keep this nice and straightforward. But remember in the top right hand corner, you have the list cog and from there you can show include inactive. When you do that, you can see all the other extra ones we've got. So we've got EC goods zero rated. We've got the EC service standard and EC service zero rated. So everything you've done previous to HMRC's change. So that 31st of December will all account for how we've been utilizing it there. But now we have two new ones. We have this one here and this one here. Now let's close down this list so we can see only the ones we're interested in. Well, what you can see here is we have a new one, PVA import 0%. Now that PVA import 0% stands for VAT on import goods from the EU from the 1st of January 2021. And the PVA is all about that postponed accounting. So postponed accounting import. And then we have postponed accounting import with 20% VAT on imports of goods from EU from the 1st of January 2021. So your first thing you've got to do is make sure both of these are activated so that we can utilize them going forward. And then to utilize them, we're going to get that statement that we've got. Okay, so one of the biggest questions is going to be, how do we record that? Well, imagine that I have in front of me the monthly statement. Now, obviously, it's going to look nothing like this. But imagine I've got to record £200 of import duty, which was on relation to a thousand pound worth of goods. How will I account for that in QuickBooks so it can show it going through? Well, what I would do is I'd create a expense and it doesn't matter too much where this payment account is, but just to be safe, put it against somewhere other than your bank account. Date is whatever the monthly statement date is. Reference number will be whatever the reference number is gonna be for that particular expense. So audit trail wise, you'll be able to find some sort of number on there and we can stick that one in. Category wise, I would put what it is that you've bought. So let's say purchases in this case, I would put 1000 pound. Now I'm gonna use that new brand new code, PVA import 20%. Remember we've had to activate that to go in. If you haven't activated at this point though, you have the opportunity to manage rates just from here and then you could turn it on at that point. So from here, I could go through and turn that on just there. Now, the important thing is that if you just post it as it was now, everything would be correct in terms of the VAT return because you're gonna have in there the inclusive, you're gonna have the 200 pound, less the 200 pound, and then 1,000 pounds shown as purchases. But you don't want that expense to go through, even though it's going against our direct loan account, that's not right, we're not physically paid for anything at this point. We paid for it when we paid for the goods in the first place. This is just accounting for that VAT. So what we need to do is we need to go through and we need to put it against purchases again. But this time we're going to do negative £1,000 and no VAT. Well, that's done is it's created a zero for us. So that means we don't have anything paid out, in this case our director's loan account. We're still accounting for £200. We've still got negative £200. So let's see how that affects our VAT return. So I'm going to save and close that one. I'm going to go to taxes. When it comes through. I'm going to go and prepare our return. And from here, this is what we wanted to see. We've got £200 there, £200 there, and £1,000 just there. And for added completeness, what I would always recommend you do is any of these transactions that you've got, I would go back into them and I'd always make sure there's an attachment here. Remember, an attachment, in this case, we can go to our download, put that monthly statement on, Therefore, you've got a proof at any point of where those figures came from. So from here, I can click on that monthly statement and it will show me that £200 of import duty and £1,000 of goods. And that's how we will be accounting for the post accounting adjustments going forward. So you can see how QuickBooks is already up and running, ready to do this for us. That's going to make our life so much easier. We need to go in, make sure we activate that PVA tax rate once that tax rate has been activated make sure you're at, at or adding a transaction that's first of january afterwards make sure you've downloaded that report that it relates to and that report that monthly report is what you're going to be putting into quickbooks to achieve those numbers we've just seen 
And there we have it. There is us now declaring VAT on the new changes from the 1st of January 2021 under the new postponed accounting method. So we're going to be using that PVA to achieve that as our VAT rate. Hopefully you found that information useful. Don't forget to put a comment down below to see if you've had any problems with it. Let us know if it's working for you or if you've got any other questions relating to this particular topic. But if you want to have more information just like this on how QuickBooks can help you and your small business and also make sure that you're accounting for things in the correct way, then stay locked into this channel. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and you'll be the first to know about any other tips and tricks that we can pass over to you. My name is Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat, Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.